this could go either way. That's only that's why I only put 400 on Fnatic. So I'm like, ah, right, there's a chance Mad Lions can get it. I don't want to get screwed. I put more on the uh, second match of the day where it's going to get a little bit more spicy. But this is definitely going to be a big one. I think Fnatic have the edge because they have played against Mad Lions already once very recently. And so they should be able to adapt and overcome. Big shots coming through there. This is just nonstop action on the B site right off the gates in this pistol. Yes, it is. Ooh, he's actually going to swing for the fight. I was going to say just two on three. Play this one a little bit safe. He's got some backup coming in as well. Brolin, he's already done enough here, so it's up to them to try and see if they can move forward. He's going to make his escape. I think this is definitely the smart move of the moment. Acorn looking to try and see if he could swing into the bomb site. He's got that USP picked up, and that could be a pretty big tool, although they are getting flanked by Golden. So, you know, another 10 seconds here, and this is going to get really tricky for the Danes. Refresh, though, with a good kill, taking down Crims, and suddenly it's a two on two. This is very cool from Broland, though. He spotted out. Not only did he spot the one close, he spotted the other on stairs. So they know right from the beginning going into this Fnatic where these two players are from Mad Lions. They're on the bomb site now, and there it is. Broland pushing forward, collects another headshot. Acor hanging on by a thread, but not for long. Golden takes him out. Three kills for Broland. The young gun from Gamers. He is a wild player, isn't he? Definitely, I think uh, people have said the future of Swedish Counter-Strike, and that looks... Uh, not like such a bad bet at all. I actually thought Golden was going to go all the way around, but he, he changed his mind and went back and just helped out. And that's fair play too. Maybe the, maybe it was a bit of a long trek to get there. Well, he's had he's had the online seal of approval, Anders. You know, you got accused of cheating, and uh, when you get accused of cheating in FPL or yeah. in pugs, you know, then you know you're doing something right. Seems like all the greats have gone through that at one point or another. There has been a lot of that around. You're not wrong. Unless you're actually cheating, then you're scum. Then yeah. you're then we're not interested scum. any longer. That's true. Flush up. Lone over here with the FAMAS. They have picked up only one SMG on Crims. So they're really worried about some sort of, you know, early force up here for Mad Lions. Did they get the bomb down? So they could have done that. Uh, and Fnatic being, you know, a bit careful, which I think is just fine. I don't blame them. Yeah. Really emphasizing the rifles here, Fnatic. They, they, no wonder they want to play careful. They want to hold on to these going into the next round. They don't want to yeah. be spending more money. Boost gets spotted, instant headshot on refresh, that gives it away. Crims with that MP9 is going to move up a bit closer, but that's fine. Pretty sure he spots that shadow. Yep, collects the one, knows that there's a second one there because of the boost. And yeah, an they just job. annihilated him. Yeah, they did that really well. Super clean. Yeah, and, I mean, and you, it's a good point as well that you made because you're obviously buying these here, you're more well prepared, but then on the other hand, if you end up losing five of them... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's only the second round, and already JW up <laughs> with a blade. Ah, <laughs> uh, the king, man. I love JW. Never get bored. It's just so awesome when you consider this roster, how they've stuck together for so long, this core, and how the, how much, I mean, to be fair, just how much shit they've had to eat over all the years. But they still keep at it, man. They it's still keep at ride. it. They haven't stopped. Instead, they've like absorbed it, and it's just made them more powerful. Ballers all around. Roland jumping down. They definitely saw that, but they can't really react in time. Now they do win the one fight. Flusher going down. That's pretty big, but that late grenade will take down Shusha. It still is a huge win here for Fnatic overall. Gotta be careful. Roy is low on health, and Mad Lion is just really trying to come out quick with, you know, just a huge uppercut to that B bomb site. And it maybe could have worked, but the flashbangs and the grenades were, I think, decisively in Fnatic's favor this time. Well, they know that one is close. Oh, turning away at the nick of time there. Needs to win this fight. JW's going to miss it, though. Refresh wins that duel. Two on two. Both tagged up on the side of Mad Lions, though. This favors Fnatic still. That, oh, it's just a molly. Onto the bomb side. Does it spread? It doesn't spread. He's managing to get around the box and use that smoke. Refresh is still alive. He is, but they're so low on health, both of them. Even the MP9 here on Crims is super dangerous at the moment. And the bomb is only just down. They have a kit and everything. Fnatic still have a very good shot at winning this. The AKs are a bit of an issue just in terms of the one-shot headshot potential. But let's see what happens here. Refresh going to pick off one. Crims now out in the open. Yeah, and he, I think he saw the shadow. You must have seen that, surely. We're relocating. Refresh will get one more. They survive on 12 and 20 health. And, I mean, that is it's crazy to see that because, again, I don't know. I think Fnatic actually made a couple of mistakes there. I think... I don't mind that JW was flanking, but once he'd been found out, I, I think he should have fallen back. Because mm. locking them in the bomb site and, and that constant threat of him being behind is so much worse than even if he, you know, like does a little bit or does some damage or something. So maybe a slight mistake, I would say, this this particular engagement. But also, I mean, incredible that Mad Lions even find a way out of this round. They should have been dead. It's the knife that probably, uh, you know, got him too riled up, man. <laughs> 
He smelled blood. Drinking the Kool-Aid already. Yeah, he's oh. like, ah, oh, this is it. I'm gonna get him. They need a new rug for the living room. Oh. Is he gonna be seeing that through the grating? He is so, so close. close, isn't it? Some shots. Well, there's JW making up for the last round here. And they're gonna, yeah, just take turns. Three of them fighting all at the same time. Hooksy will find a way to take down Brolin at the very least. But still inside of the bomb site is Flusher with an MP9. Sure enough, and he's gonna get one. Does his job. Man advantage now going into it. The retake here for Fnatic. Very quick rounds coming yeah. through here. Smart, I think, for Refresh to stay in the middle like this. Because, again, he's just trying to catch someone rotating. And they, they feel it looks like they sort of know it. But the flank is also coming in JW. So we'll see. Just a deagle on uh, Golden at the moment. Spots out for it. Aiko now he knows at the very least. And, yeah, they're going to be catching them, actually. They're being so aggressive in this uh, afterplant here, Mad Lions. Going to keep on flashing their way through, trying to mm. just essentially push and take this fight. And yeah, that actually completely catches Fnatic. I don't think they were ready for that much of an aggressive push. And JW is no kit, so he's going to have to back on out. Wow. Man, what's fantastic team play coming in here for Mad Lions. They they lost two people over at the A ramp and just went back on one anyway. Yeah. But they managed to catch a kill on Brolin for free, which is surprising considering how sharp Brolin is. He was definitely ready for it, and yet they still got that kill. Flusha was able to do his job, but uh, this, uh, th them doubling up and exactly focusing on mid like this, this one here in particular, where both of them are there, Mad Lions understand, cool, it's two versus one, whichever way we go, yeah. we kill this guy, we win. And so yeah. that just worked out perfectly for them, and this is going to lead into an eco round here from Fnatic. They have that single rifle saved on JW, a single flash picked up here by Flusha, and well, Mad Lions now, a great opportunity for them to pad their bank a bit. Yeah, what a what a turnaround! I'm I'm really impressed by the fact that they managed to find their way out, especially that last one was looking pretty grim. Now they are walking in exactly where the M4 is. Golden's going to take a bit of attention. It's a good and important return there to not let the M4 just spray them all down. That would have been the disaster, surely. Just uh, I mean, maybe worth pointing out here while we're just waiting for Flusher to to find some way to end the round. Um. It's almost like, I feel like now on the T side of this map, you sort of have to go for that A ramp, whether or not you ever want to go A or not. Because not showing up at the A ramp is going to be just such a clear sign to the CT side that, you know, like, they don't even have to worry about it. So you just, I feel like you have to show some presence. You have to try, and that will probably, some of the time, involve losing a player, you know, in the mix there. And you're just hoping that you sort of trade it out. Mm -hmm. But I feel like not going A ramp at all is go really powerfully signaling to the CT side that, it's more, I mean, it's it's mid-B at this point in time. Not that I'm sure you can throw variations in there where you wait and you take it later on or whatever, but I've noticed a lot of people will do that just as a, as a you know, opening default to a bunch of rounds. No matter what they're doing, they'll just go for that A ramp and just sort of show up and see what's up. Smoke going to come in over the top. Very nice angle on that. Well spotted, uh, Prius. And then a boost. Yeah, Fnatic. Trying to counter this, trying to get some eyes on that ramp, as you said. But all four, well, four players, at least four Mad Lions, gathered up, slowly clearing out ramp. This is just, I mean, essentially textbook stuff coming out here. All grouped up, slowly pushing up. Oh, falling off the boost. Might have missed the chance, but they're probably a little bit worried about that site getting overwhelmed now. Hooksy right there, going to look for it. Big spray, and he gets taken out by Crims. JW with the flank as well. Definitely a big opportunity right there that he, I think he kind of missed a little bit. I think he was sort of halfway moving while spraying. Refresh picked up another AK, but he can't complete the kill. And there's such a really good defense coming in here from Fnatic. Looked like there was a big moment there to catch them. Echo! Oh dear! How does that even work? We are going to need a replay ASAP. What? I... Was that a collat wall bang? I don't... I... I mean, they're standing in a line. I just might be losing my mind. 38 seconds and two versus three from a two on five, admittedly. But, but I mean, again, the time that's left here, it should be very tricky. We'll see what Roy could do. If he get the first headshot here, maybe they have a chance. They have a smoke and a Molotov on A-Core as well. So one kill, then put up the grenades, get the bomb down, and then finish that two on two. That's got to be the, the goal of the moment here. Smoke is already up. And Roy, he's 
Waiting for that to pop just a little bit. He's going to be jumping up on top of that. Acor is actually Molotov the back corner there. Zone grenade. And yeah, going to pick up the bomb finally with eight seconds left. Surely got possible here. Brolan goes for the kill. And that is enough to win the round. Nice triple on him. And Fnatic, they find a way out here. Now well, he has planted the nick of time. He's going to say, it's time to hold your breath and see. Like, I don't know if I'm just making it up. But I... It looked like it. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is so next level. I sometimes, dude, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Even A Cole must have been like, what? What's going on? That's so next level. That is amazing. But that's, uh, you know, you can't get a double collat wall bang every day of the week, Anders. And so Fnatic have succeeded in tying things up three to three. Money on the there were there was money in the bank for Mad Lions and with that bomb plant it really helped them out here. Acor's got an AWP. They have some nades. JW though playing so aggressively. Acor just waiting for him though does not miss that shot and that's a man advantage for Mad Lions. JW of old man showing no fear yeah. just getting in there. It's re it's really hard to criticize, isn't it? Because. That is one of his strengths as a player. So, you you know, you, you don't really want to see him not do these things. But you just always, I mean, this has always been true for Fnatic, right? Mm -hmm. That is the cost, though. Sometimes you'll end up playing four versus five at the beginning of the round, and you just accept it. Funnily enough, Mad Lions have the same issue with A-Cole. So, you know, this time it went in his favor, but they will, they will likely have similar rounds throughout this best of three where, you, you know, you'd, you'd be saying, man, if only A-Cole wasn't doing that, the one difference, Anders, is that in those situations when Fnatic were really just dominating, it's that they could fall back on Crims. You know, and you could Olaf. fall back on Crims on flush on Olaf, right, to, to make up for the JW crazy plays when they didn't work. True. But if Crims is going to die immediately, that's uh, that's going to put Fnatic in a very tight spot here. Yeah. Spot, Brolan dodging the damage. Oh, nice spray through. Nearly takes out Hooksy. Down to 11 HP, Hooksy. Lucky dog. I don't think they should go for this. I think this is... Uh Three versus five retake, and yeah, you've got a you've got a couple of smokes, but it's just very hard to smoke defuse this bomb site, isn't it? I mean, you can get the smokes down, no, but like that's easy. But where you're actually sitting, you're so confined mm -hmm. that you know they're gonna get the right angle. I'm sure of it. So it's got a little bit of a shot coming through. Flush had the last one left. He's gonna go straight on, and try and see if he could maybe do something there. But yeah, there is gonna be way too many people on the other side. And again, if they'd save the three rifles. This next round still wouldn't be super amazing, but maybe it's just a maybe it's just sort of a, a call they made coming into this game, saying we actually want to be more like you, because you can take that approach uh, right and say, you know, let's fight for every round. Let's really make sure that we don't uh, don't give them too much too early or whatever. Sure, but I think that might have cost them a little bit. That did at least to me. That looked like a very very tricky round to win. It's just going to be one of those big brass uh, brass balls kinds of plays. We like those players. Yeah, we do. The BDP, you got to get in there. But um, unfortunately, that was the kind of round where Fnatic were just trying to make play after play, and nothing really panned out for them. They got more kills, at least, you know, so they made it a bit more expensive for Mad Lions. But this is going to be a round of eco coming in here from Fnatic. And there was a tactical timeout called as well. So now the countdown has begun here. Four to three, Mad Lions in the lead on the T side. And Fnatic with the Deagles, the nade, the single nade on roll it started out with a lot of action B, but it's kind of fanned back over towards A right now these last few rounds here from Mad Lions. So curious to see if they continue like this or not. Full stack on the B site. Fnatic think that the that Mad Lions are coming back towards B. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, why not go? You got a double nade there. They got another one on Crim, so if you time it right, maybe you could do it. Don't know if they're going to wait to see anyone or if it's just going to be, you know, count to some number in your head and just go for it. Mm -hmm. JW up close. P250 though. And unfortunately for him, yeah, that angle just does not work. You can see clearly, JW doesn't see him there. Refresh will. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you definitely, you're definitely counting on people not checking it all the way. All right. So it was a very, it's a very relaxing round here for Mad Lions. Just almost like a therapeutic round. Just yeah. Getting to bop some people left and right. It's all nice going to be good. Smooth. They're doing some deep breathing, you know. That's what, that's what you need to do. All right. Five to three. I'd say this is a, a very good start right now for uh, for the for the Mad Lion side.
They are T side on on vertigo, so I mean sometimes you can this can happen. So I wouldn't wouldn't necessarily go crazy just yet, but I do feel like they're off to a pretty good start. Hmm. The money. Well, now they've got an org instead. No op though on JW, which I personally would have rather seen. Yeah, it's always sad days when JW decides to tap out. Probably did, he had five thousand. He could have gone for the glass cannon. Well. He decides to go for the M4 instead. <laughs> you know, I was just checking my uh, my emails mm -hmm. um, when we were sending in the predictions. Yeah. And I did actually go 700 on Mad Lions. <laughs> okay. So it's just a graphic. Why you got to be lying about that? Listen, it's, it, apparently it's worse than lying. I just can't even remember what I'm doing. So uh, lying to myself or something you know, equivalent to that. So it's 700 on Mad Lions. I like this, Anders. Yeah, we got the graphic updated, so we will have uh, we will have the correct prediction. Because I remember you saying it too, and being so confident, so I was shocked to see the graphic be different. Nice oh, spray coming in, nice. flush of catching them, boosting over that smoke. It's fantastic, isn't it? Well, I, th I mean, one of the tricks for all the kids out there listening, uh, you know, if you if you are gonna you know make a statement like this, just you sounding confident is like half the half the battle, you know. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not sure at all what you're talking about, yeah, just show up and say, "Here we go." I know a lot about quantum physics. I'm going to tell you about it right now. Like you'll believe it most of the time. So, um, same goes for game predictions. Apparently, I had convinced myself that I had picked Fnatic, and and I'm the one that made the prediction. So, that's how effective it is. In fact, tenth round. We knew it all along. <laughs> if only. Um, yeah, money's kind of disappeared now for Mad Lion, so a big chance right now for the Swedes to just turn this around. And it's so early on in the game that there's plenty of space to uh, to, to still make this a very good first half for Fnatic. So don't think that that worry. Oh, look at the timing on the flashbangs and also the Molotov that's raining down there. Brolin again at it with another multi-kill. He yeah, is beautiful. so good. So clean. Oh, shot goes out though. JW not going to connect with that one. Oh, gets the follow-up though. Trisha's got the angle, doesn't matter. JW takes his head off. And now Roy alone, 1v5, getting picked apart here. Two back-to-back -back rounds that are looking brutal. Fnatic getting the lockdown going here. So Mad Lions not going to be pleased about Fnatic being able to run it back and tie things up 5-5. Five to five. And now all that money that they worked so hard to build here, Mad Lions, that's going to be gone as well. So Fnatic now in a fantastic position to start running away with this first half. And this yeah. is on Mad Lions' map pick as well. Oh yeah, they've they've set themselves up very nicely at the moment. They had no one die in this round. They get to pick up that AWP as well on top of it, or they had one on JW. Sorry, but they get to pick up a bunch of AKs instead, three AKs, and Roland right now at fourteen and six. So he's playing out of his mind. That's what the young gun needs to be doing. It's a lot of it. Uh, a lot of it to do with confidence. And well, he is supremely confident. He knows how to get in here. He knows how to win these fights. The new generation of Swedish CS players. Yeah, it's really, really good to see. And, you know, just the fact that he's playing so well early on, again, you, you want to you wanna see that create enough space in the game for Crims and Golden and, you know, everyone else to just start to feel a bit of bit of comfort behind that. Mm -hmm. Even if Brolin, let's say, let's say at some point during Vertigo, he slows it down a bit. It's not, it's not the end of the world if, you know, the other three or four members of the team start to say, all right, well, you know, we now's our turn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Flush has spotted that boost. Yeah. Oh, Molly's going in, expecting the push. This is a hard eco coming in here from Mad Lions. If you want to try and pull a rat play like that against Flush, are you <laughs> you got to wake up early in the morning. Yeah. Just come to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> And Flusher is all the way back here. He's got some backup golden. It's a pretty big crossfire. He's a little bit out of the open now. So theoretically, if they both stand up while he's walking out there, it could be could be a bit dangerous. Golden's going to try and help out. Glocks are really just not that effective. And long range, tapping away. They're just enjoying this. Flusher eventually goes down, but don't really think it's the end of the world. Again, just, yeah, don't lose anyone else, and it'll be fine. Get bopped. Everybody gets AKs as well. Even Crims throws away the AUG. What? Oh, no. He saved it to pass it back over to Flusha. Gets Get himself that. an AUG again. No worries at all. Yeah. Yeah, Fnatic are starting to look pretty good here. Six to five. Buy round now going to come in here for Mad Lions. No bomb plant, though, so they'll be a little bit light on the nades. Not ideal. 
But they do have the five smokes and they have the flashes, a few Molotovs, and let's see what Mad Lions have got for us here. Looking like early days, at least, is going to be very quick towards that A ramp. JW was in position with the AWP to take a shot. Blinded, though, not going to spot it. And that's a big kill to open things up here from Refresh. Takes Golden out of it. Man advantage for Mad Lions very early in the round. And because it's so early, they can do what they're doing now. Call it back, wait. No reason to sort of, you know, rush right into it. Leave it up to Fnatic to figure out what's going on. They do have JW a little bit forward with the AWP, but as you can tell already, it's left Flusher alone over at the B bomb site. I wonder how much information he's... Yeah, he's, so he's really far back. Because again, walking close to that, the stairs, it, it is dangerous if someone's waiting there. But of course, staying far back means you, you're going to have pretty short warning. Yeah, and that smoke goes far enough that they're going to push him behind it, and he'll know that right about now. Flashes are in, and he's going to call in for some reinforcements to try and help him out. 55 seconds, bomb being planted, and Flusher, oh, he would have loved to have stopped that somehow, but Shush was covering it. Now it's a three on two, in fact, as Acor will pick up Roland right through the smoke. And yes, they're going to be backing on out. So Mad Lions also finding a sixth round, and this time just, I mean, one fight over at the A ramp, and then it's not exactly mega deep tactical play that we're seeing here, but it does work. Well, I mean, I'm wondering how... Well, I guess it's just a gamble at that point, right? Fnatic are thinking that it's A. Flusha playing so far back to be close for rotation if it was necessary. They were just gambling that this was going to be an A hit and um, I Mad Lions hit B. I really think that it's, it's just, it, it happens almost all of the time when, you, when you're when you a man down on this on this map. You know, you just leave the B player. I mean, not that long ago even, and maybe it still happens a lot, people start with just one on B anyway, right? So yeah, yeah. We were seeing that a lot uh, the other day. Uh, JKS on complexity, right? It's, he just was alone. Yeah, it's like the it's like be on train, you know, or almost be on any other map. Mm -hmm. Don't know what it is with B players, but but yeah, theoretically, right? You know, you just you you, you can kind of guess that if they if they were going to go light on a bomb site, probably would be B. Mm -hmm. um, the only real danger for Mad Lions in that moment is if Fnatic are so aggressive at checking the ramp just up after they're gone. Like if they just turn the corner and Fnatic see, oh, there's no one there, then they can start to get back. Because Mad Lions can't obviously run, so you know they have to they have to they have to hope that there is some time delay between them evacuating the A ramp and Fnatic discovering. And it happened this round. It was it was when there was a flashbang in the B bomb side. The flash was like, oh, oh wait, yeah, and it all just becomes clear a second too late. Brolan now, this is also not advantageous for him, and he loses the fight. I swear Refresh is very slow on starting that fight. That looked really awkward. He it first. That's the brutal part, right? Yeah. So he'll have that split-second warning. Probably would, yeah. I still had that looked so scary to me. Molotov in and Crims. Oh, that actually would have been very cool if you could have caught Refresh running back from that. But two versus three. Some of them are very low on health, but I, I mean, it's hard for Fnatic to know just how much the, the health is low there on Shush and Refresh. And they have money. I mean, they have almost 10,000 on JW. Still not going to be easy to retake this. They do have smokes and Molotovs. I don't know. I mean, this can actually maybe be done. If they throw if they throw a wall of smokes and just sort of run in and try and defuse behind it, it's not completely impossible here. Three versus three now. Yeah, and Golden taking Roy down. So this is actually pretty big. The walls are going to go. Oh, the smoke isn't perfect, though. Nice little surprise play there. Hooksy and Refresh getting out. Shush, he's hoping to catch the diffuser through the smoke. It's not meant to be. Just in the nick of time, right before the bomb was about to go off. The defuse goes through and Fnatic pull off the retake. So close. About seven to six now. Fnatic pulling ahead in the lead on the CT side on Vertigo. That is really, really well spotted by the Swedes. That's really cool. I mean, some of these shots, I mean, I guess maybe maybe that shot initially on, uh, on, on refresh or whatever could have been like a little bit like, oh, who knows how that would work out. But what Mad Lions, you know, essentially, they put themselves in that position by falling so far back that, you know, again, those smokes could just block pretty much the entire team off. I think except Hooksy was, um, was on the outside railing there. Mm -hmm. But still, that is, that's that's actually kind of hard to see. It's one thing when you have the minimap and all the rest of it, but it's hard when you're in the server to figure out whether or not that was going to be possible. So, cool stuff from Fnatic. Ooh, again, a little bit of a spot there. This is it, though. Everything on what? the line, and the nades come through, catching Refresh perfectly. Or rather, Flusha perfectly. Nade from Refresh. Golden gets caught as well, trying to spot mid. He's still going to win that duel versus Hooksy. Yeah, but they don't care. They're going for the A bomb site right away. Nearly catching that kill with the ult. That would have been something. Still got a minute left, so 
Three versus four, and Fnatic are all on this side of the map. Crims, oh, he gets two somehow! And following up, it's gonna be hard for them, I think, to guess that Golden is here. Just a bit unlikely. They heard the rotation from Berlin, though. They're gonna be waiting. Yeah, they are just gonna be waiting for, hopefully for Berlin exactly to do what he's doing now, which is to spread back out over towards that B side. And this is it. So that Golden is all alone, 1v2. And if you group up together, you should be able to trade and step in here. Although now, I mean, Roy's just gonna go ahead and peek this, not the angle that's, that doesn't favor him at all. He's gonna get the headshot, but still, one-on-one -on -one now, 16 seconds, and Brolin, I wouldn't wanna be up against him in a one-on-one -on -one like this. 10 seconds. If he goes for the bomb plant, I mean, there's every chance he could walk right through. Brolin knows that he's right on the other side. Acor gonna hold it down and Brolin there to finish it. Yeah, he was absolutely ready. Acor not trying to fake it out or anything. And again, the problem is also, he doesn't really have time to play that game for very long anyway. So, um, it's eight to six now. And no bomb plant. Not gonna be a great buy here in the 15th round. Fnatic, I, you know, again, looking solid. They're definitely bouncing back. Can't they be. will have made adjustments, and they are just, I mean, there's so much experience on this roster. But, I mean, th that round is just <laughs> at a, you know, a, an absolute thin thread, right? If Crims doesn't get that double kill, I think they just get wiped out on that bomb site immediately. Absolutely. 100%. So. But again, that's the quality. You know, that's what the, these guys, that's what we were talking about a little bit at the beginning, where you're going to have the firepower that Crims brings to the, to the board. Brolan, and refreshing a bit of a standoff here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Ouch. that's a monster. Oh, and then the Molly too. Just get out of here. Oh, Hooksy. Actually burning a little bit. Could have a bit of an angle, maybe, if, if Flusher comes back in. But no, Flash is going to stand his ground. Could have been interesting to see if he would have strafed to his right there, if Hooksy would have been quick enough to do it. They are all still on that ramp, and I think Fnatic are starting to realize that. They've, they're, they're sort of, yeah, slowly getting, I think, the intel that they need to figure out what's coming. Flusher. Yeah, I like this positioning here from Flusha. He realized it was like a 50-50 where he was standing at. No, he's moving back there. That's going to cost him. Risky play there from Flusha. Yeah, flashed and, and downed almost immediately. JW also going to be careful. They're getting a little bit close now. One missed shot. There is a flank coming in as well. Crimson JW. We get a couple of kills. And yeah, they're in a great position. No issues at all here to get the ninth round on the board. They just look really not stressed at all, Fnatic. It's good to see them just relaxing in this game. And 9-6 uh, at the end of it, I think, is just such a good scoreline. So they should be really, really happy about this. Could have definitely been much worse. I mean, Mad Lions had a couple of chances, I think, to turn it into something more. Um, still an open game, but um, I guess we'll find out how it's going to go down in the second half. And it's coming up after the break. So stay tuned.
All right then, we're back. Nine to six at the end of the half, favoring the Swedes on Fnatic. And then we're on the CT side now. They're going to be on the T side. Mad Lion is leaving them with uh, six rounds. I thought I think this is a pretty open game, but I'm sure Mad Lions will walk away from that first half thinking, man, like we could have had way more. Oh yeah. Um, but I love the fact that Fnatic looked so unstressed and just looked like they had a game plan and they sort of more or less stuck to it. That is a good way to describe Fnatic's game, though, right? Yeah, really is. Um, like unstressed, fluid, relaxed. I always feel like that when I watch Fnatic. It's just a soothing experience. It never really feels like it gets chaotic with them. They've got that Sen Counter Strike approach. Yeah, dude. Very Making Swedish. some silly jokes along the way as well. Like that's all, all very Sen. In yeah, some sense. it's a very Swedish kind of CS. Yeah. You would, you know, you don't raise your voice in Sweden. You know, you don't, you don't get excited. Just, just calm down. Calm down. It's all going to be fine. Well. Shush is over here on guard duty by the B bomb site stairs and hoping to see someone. I mean, he should be able to fall back. They do not have a P250. I mean, the Glocks could still be pretty dangerous. Looks like they're going to try and just, yeah, force them back into it. And then Shush, yeah, so they, they essentially are a little bit locked in here at the B bomb site, at least for the minute. And backup is a little bit further away than maybe you would want, although it is coming in pretty quickly. 50 seconds. It's a good opening kill. And now Mad Lions, they need something in return here before the bomb goes down. They're only going to get that one kill, but swiftly back in. Hooksy doing a pretty good job now with a big double so far. Three on three and no bomb plant yet. Uh, why aren't they? Exactly. Back off. The, the guy who died there first, I don't know which one was it, Berlin or Flusha. He's got to be calling it. There were three players there shooting at him. Yeah. So. Oh, no, but look at actually. Yeah, it's the double fake. This is so good from Fnatic. I love these guys. I love watching them play CS. This is, that's so solid. Now, taking that extra duel, though, JW, now you're playing with fire. You could throw away the situation you have, but he gets it. Oh, unbelievable. Fnatic win this round. And it's just such solid CS, the way that they do it. I mean, you, all you had to do was slow it down just a little bit so that Mad Lions have to think, oh, no, they can rotate back to A. We don't know. Are they rotating back yeah. to A or not? They have to pull somebody off. You've got the man advantage at that point. It's just so solid. And part of the problem, I think, for Mad Lions is... They were all sort of towards the B bomb site. If they had had someone in the middle, they would have known that Fnatic weren't running back because they would have heard the footsteps. And if Fnatic were just walking back, then there's no reason to rotate that quickly, you mm -hmm. know? So, yeah, I think the lack of audio and then, yeah, just the, the Fnatic slowing down just enough to sell the idea probably made them a bit paranoid there. So cool. Just a tiny little detail. But, um, yeah, 10 to 6. And winning the pistol round of the second half, that is going to be... A good start here for Fnatic, surely. Deagle will do a bit of damage, but no no straight headshots at the moment. And again, Fnatic showing themselves on the ramp, which does not have to be a sign that they're actually going to go for the A-bomb side. You, you just have to. Hmm. Well, that's pretty much all of their nades used on Mad Lions. Look at how quickly they know. Look at this. This is really interesting. Mad Lions already checking it. So yeah, they're going to be starting to rotate back. This is so smart, though, from the from the seat. Doesn't mean they're going to win because they still have a huge weapon disadvantage. But Fnatic also heard that. Yeah, they heard the rotation through. That is all JW just listening out for that one thing. Yep, there's the flash for the peak onto B, and they're going to realize, oh crap, nobody's here. And now they heard some footsteps. I believe that was Roy who was still hanging around on A. They're still walking though, Fnatic, and JW lurking in mid, going to make this even more difficult for Mad Lions to read. But now they're up on the site. This is it. Golden. He can stick that plant. Oh, Hooksy, though, going to catch Brolan dancing on the edge of the smoke. Big shots coming in from Hooksy. He gets overwhelmed in the end. And JW still hanging out in mid looking for pot shots. Oh, wow, that was dangerous for, for Fnatic. <laughs> that could have gone way, way, way south. It's a good thing that, that they managed to stay alive on that site with both Flusher and, uh, and Golden there. That was way close. But yeah, well, there were so many interesting things in that round that, that sort of went back and forth. That is a, that's a, essentially you could just write it off as saying whatever, they won against pistols, but a lot of little details. The, the fact that Mad Lions are so quick to see that they've evacuated the A ramp is, that, that essentially is the core of any intelligent uh, CT side defense on this map. Because again, if you, if you, if there's a 15 second gap between them leaving and you knowing about them leaving, you're, right. you're, you're really wrecked. Um, right. But then the counterplay of JW hearing them running back and calling his teammates in and saying, well, hold on, back, back to the ramp. Those are all cool things. 
Yeah, they're looking zoned in right now. Absolutely. Ah, this is good. I mean, this is good for a Fnatic. Another round of eco coming in here. Well, there was a force by last round for Mad Lions. They have to go for an eco this round, but it's still pistols. And well, Fnatic should be aware of this, although we will get a little bit of a push coming in. Hooksy getting caught by Flusha. Last guy you want to die to on Fnatic. He had the UMP, so that's 600 bucks instead of 300 for the kill. And well, Fnatic still very patiently waiting, sussing out this defense. No. Oh, did he see him? Feels like there we go. They definitely know. There we go. And woohoo! <laughs> what a shot from refresh. It's always fun, isn't it? That I mean, they did also just boost that with a USP. So you have to you have to sort of think, even if they hadn't spotted it, what are the chances it's really going to do that much? Golden ready and waiting around. Would have been fun for Shush if he could have got that little bit of bonus money with that UMP, but that's not going to be the case. So 12 to 6 now, doubling the round score of the Danes. And now Madlines, I mean, they can pick up rifles now, but it's... Yeah, they would they would heavily benefit from winning this upcoming round and just take a step back into it here. Look at how they've all caught up to to Brolin now. That's mm -hmm. what I was talking about earlier with, with just creating the space for the rest of the team to to feel more confident. That's I think that's pretty much what he's done. I mean, right now, yeah, you can have the hard carry from one player, or you can have everybody just winning duels everywhere. That was super ugly from Brolin, but he still wins. Still gets that. Oh, Golden. Dancing. Is Roy going to figure this out, though? Brolin. Oh, Crim seems to realize. And of course, Crim's. Not gonna. You gotta wake up early to catch Crimson. Off guard. They're just getting every duel to go their way right now, Fnatic. Yeah, that is. I mean, out of all the ways in which you could lose this round, this is definitely one of the harder ones. A call, a one versus four, and he's got that first kill. They're just coming for him. Not quite gonna take the shot, but uh, yeah, they're showing up. Golden's on the other side of the smoke. Acor walking through to take him down. <laughs> Golden must have been thinking, I knew, I knew he would do that. Again, watching Acor play is always a great pleasure, but he shouldn't be winning this round. He's now backing off and looking like almost about to catch Flusher here. He's walking in with the bomb on the other side. And they just don't know where he is right now. 45 seconds. Yeah, you can see Flusher's a little hesitant about crossing that gap. If Acor's got the angle, that's it, he's dead. Oh, I mean, there for Crims. I mean, if he walks around the corner now, the round is won. Acor has no idea. <laughs> 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 he was just turning. That's amazing. That's that's comedic timing from Crims. We've got to give him some credit. He sensed it. Acor sensed a disturbance. Yeah, well. They have been washed. This is Predator. Let's see the retake. Yeah, the replay here. Yeah, this is Roland's initial spray. Yes. I thought he would get this. Uh, do we see it? No, this is just a, before this, prior to this. I thought he was just going to pull the trigger, and uh, I think he unscoped by accident without shooting. But whatever, no way to prove that. Uh, this is so far proving to be a dominant first map from Fnatic. I mean, it's going to be very curious to see, very interesting to see if they can keep this up. But right now it's 13 to 6. Fnatic on the T side looking fabulous. Roy with the flank. Deagle spray takes Golden and Brolan. Back into a three on three, just like that. And now Roy on a tear. Just got to Crims. That's a oh, that nice transfer. Yeah, he saw that coming. That might have actually just at least uh, probably saved them in this round here. Yeah, it's. I mean, it, it's so weird because it looks like it's about to be 14-6, but I, I, in some sense, it feels like that scoreline doesn't... Ooh, nice pick off there. Crims is also just a, a shot away. He's going to go pick up the AK. The scoreline doesn't really seem to do it justice in some sense because like, this game has definitely felt much, much closer than that. But uh, some of these important rounds have just gone fanatic way, and that's definitely had a huge impact. Acor going to slowly make his way down, and Crims just waiting behind there. He's already got the double from over at the ramp. A third one to add and get to 14 rounds, and he's going to see it perfectly. Just really well done. And Fnatic, again, close round, but it goes their way. 14 to 6. And I think this last... Uh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. I thought. I think he unscoped. I think he thought he shot. Could well, could well be. That That's so painful. That would have been s insane. Would have, been, <laughs> would have been a nice kill to have had. Just Again, he did pick it up afterwards, but still... Um, through the smoke's always a little bit more annoying, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, right now, I mean, Mad Lions, they're calling their second tactical timeout. Peacemaker probably giving them an earful right now. I mean, it's 14-6. to 6. Fnatic. I mean, a terrific second half so far. Nothing. It's flawless so far. They haven't dropped around. 
it it's true. If you just look at the rounds, that's definitely true. But if you look at like how they won, them. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. So, some of those are so close, right? That I mean, at the end, Fnatic are not going to really care about that once they win the game or at least win the map here. But but um, sure, Mad Lions will care about it, right? They'll they'll be saying to themselves, hopefully not right away, but later on. Damn, like we could have had a lot more. Shush, not quite the chance there. Double up on the CT side, and presumably the last chance here for Mad Lions to do a lot to try and uh, and keep the dream of this map alive. It's not looking good at the moment. Mm -hmm. Still checking that A ramp, JW. That's why he's hanging out here, thinking, you know what? I want to make sure that you're not going to go and get 100% confirmation that no one is here. And meanwhile, they're setting up over at the B bomb site where absolutely nobody is defending. So this looks like a very, very strong call out of Fnatic. They tend to make him golden. I mean, I've just been nothing but impressed with him as an in-game leader. Yes. All the shots, though. Hooksy's going to come in. Golden trying to take point. That's going to open it up. He still gets a kill. But there's Hooksy with the double, bringing it back. Two on four retake scenario now. Flusher trying to do the best he can to hold the line on the point. Going to get swamped. A flash. Perfect. But he can't connect. Doesn't get the kills. Molly onto it. JW gets headshot as well. That's not going to help. And they're just going to charge this guy down. He is running, trying to create some room, but there's no way he's just going to back off and try and save this AWP. And <laughs> teaching refresher lesson saying, you know what, kid, you may have won the round, but <laughs> do, don't don't show that level of disrespect. Like, I'll take you right out. You All right. Around with J -dubs. Definitely not. Okay, a very close round. I mean, I'm almost tempted to score that, you know, the other way. That... That flashbang probably that could have won them the round right then and there, but it was a, a bit of a tricky spray, right? Could have gone either way, honestly, for uh, for, for this particular round. So it goes the way of Mad Lions, and, and they get to make you know they get to save the double up. They get to make a you know a little bit there, but still not really making money. Still only surviving with two members. So we shall see. Very curious here. Oh, oh who, 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 man, <laughs> unbelievable. Hooksy has no idea how close he was to death. He's just walking back. This is you know, like you're trying to will it to happen, you know? Yeah. Just like, just peek. He's just whistling on his way back. Oh, they need to catch him. Well, Molotov in there. Some backup being called for. Roy getting a bit close now, but yeah, they're waiting for it. I actually think this is very smart. Now, Aiko will get the kill on Brolin, but I love the fact that Fnatic were expecting that, that aggressive push. That is not a... They weren't just sacrificing everything to catching the guy behind the sandbags just because they had spotted him. Which, again, you, you could have been tempted to just make a straight run for it and just try, try and get him killed and then lose your entire team in the process. Ooh. Yeah, pushing up here, though. We are going to have Flusher trying to create some room for the rest of his team. He is right on the edge trying to abuse this smoke. Oh, that HE on a JW and gold, and they ate that. But now... It is going to be bomb planted. Angle here. Flusha misses the shot. Unfortunate turn. And yeah, these are just kills after kills. It seems like Mad Lions, they've uh, remembered uh, to sharpen their fangs. Yeah, but it is definitely not done yet. There is a smoke, and that's going to be annoying for JW. And now these lost his teammates. Yeah, it's going to be even worse. I was just going to say, like, maybe if JW could just clear a bit of space, he could have done some uh, some magic with that AWP. But they'll survive the round. They'll get, again, the double orb. And this time with three members alive. That is great news for Mad Lions. Um, the money for Fnatic is still kind of outrageous, which is which is a, a huge problem for uh, for the Danes at the moment. Because again, even if even if Mad Lions win this, you know, the next round, if there's another bomb plant, then the round loss bonus plus what they have in the bank will suddenly be enough, and it's there. It's just one long struggle right now for uh, for Mad Lions to try and do much of anything here. Yeah, the constant pressure here being put on by the Swedes. But this is a change of pace coming out now. Golden eats a bit of nade damage. Is that worth it? Yes, it is. Hits the headshot on Shush. Opening up the B site. Nice little flash over the top to create some room. And now he's out onto it. And they have no idea what to expect, Mad Lions. Is there a follow-up from this? Is there anybody else? If Golden could get the second kill, that would have been huge. Instead, he is going to fall. And now, what do they do? There's a chance for JW, but he barely gets that. Oh, it looked like he was dead on him as well. And they're going to slowly be pushed back. Man, if you want to if you want to have some appreciation for what it means to entry frag, just look at what Golden was just doing. Paving the whole way and just kept trying to push it. 
to create that space behind him for his team. That's really awesome to see. Don't get enough of that. And I mean, they weren't that far behind. It, it, none of that was Golden's fault. I mean, like, if you want to blame anyone, you say, like, if they were just three seconds, you know, further up in the round, then they're right there behind him and it's going to work just fine. Such a cool move. 45 seconds, two smokes left on Mad Lions. And again, Fnatic sort of calling a bit of a break, going back to check and see if anyone from Mad Lions are actually, you know, sneaking up behind them and how much they know and just also making them nervous, you have to assume. And trying to see if they could hit that B-bomb side afterwards. And they don't have a flash to turn the corner, though. That is a bit of a, of a shame here for the T side. Still have three smokes. That's what I was thinking. I mean, all those nades getting used. But we're down to 20 seconds. You need to get those smokes in play, and you need to run. You're not giving yourself much room to maneuver with now. 15 seconds, and you have the two smokes. Just smoke the gaps and go. You have to make the play across, and going before the smokes, it's just, yeah, you're dead. What yeah. was that? Oh, man. I mean, they even, he even jumped over the first shot, but yeah, still, you're right. That uh, and, and, yeah, just that they didn't get to, to cover everything they wanted. I'm dies sure a flashbang would have been nice, right? JW dies after the clock. Oh, did so he no money. That actually does make a difference now. Yeah. That's, uh, they maybe could have gone. Well, it would have been a half by. And now, no though, bomb I plant. Mean, yeah, no bomb plant. I mean, had they gotten a bomb plant, I think Fnatic get that by. But okay, I like this. This is a good timing to call a timeout here from Fnatic just because things are starting to get a little out of hand. Uh, Mad Lions, they put three rounds in a row together yeah. now. So uh, slow it down a little bit here. Just... And you could just have a clear example of a right eye peak angle there. It's uh, JW doesn't see him, but the uh, you know his opponent sees him very clearly. That's what I'm talking about often, guys. When I'm mentioning good angles versus bad angles, it's where you get these jiggle peak attempts, and it's like, yeah, but if you're peeking from right to left, you're gonna see your opponent a split second, you know, after he sees you, right? So you, a lot of the best players, fur, like these kinds of guys, they're just so good at taking into account those angles whenever they take fights. And so that's what I'm, you know, if you're wondering why I keep talking about angles, uh, a lot of that has to do with uh, with just that right there. Yeah, there's slim margins at the top here, so like the, yeah, it, it all. Exactly. It for you and me, Anders, it probably doesn't make that much of a difference. We're probably dead anyway. But like for guys these fa this fast, for these guys, I mean that that split second is a huge advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and HE and Molotov to take down JW early in this round. So, I mean, they, they don't have a lot here to work with, but I think Mad Lions, again, are just trying to stabilize this game. And it feels like maybe now they've sort of finally done it. There's at least a, a platform for them to build something off. Because I think if they would have, I think if they go on to sort of lose this game now, I actually think Mad Lions have a, like a credible claim to say, yeah, but we probably could have won Vertigo, you know? Absolutely. Um, whereas if they just lose, you know, 16-6, then it's like, ah, we never even, like, really got anything under us, did we? Now they have a legitimate chance, and if it doesn't go their way, well then, what can you do about that? Deep grenade there. Second map, by the way, would be Inferno. Oh, passes the deciding match. All right, that's a crazy spray. Five kills. They were unarmored and, and with pistols, but still, that's a little bit. Ace picked up by Roy. Some of it looked really cool. So, 14-10. Buy round coming in from Fnatic. I expect AKs across the board here. And we will see some quick play here, perhaps, from the Swedes. Just try and keep that pressure up here on Mad Lions. Because it's been four rounds in a row now for Mad Lions, and we don't want to split it. You know, five and five. None of that here. Fnatic are just looking to close this first map out. If it goes to Inferno and Fnatic are already up 1-0, it's going to be looking so good for them in this series. Hell yes. Golden. Oh, oh that oh, is oh. absolute artwork, isn't it? What a crisp player he can be. And he wants to keep going again. This is a, sim a similar thing. He wants to keep the pressure on for the rest of his team to get in behind. That's why he's being so aggressive. Shush will finally take him down. And Fnatic, what could they build behind this? Again, golden. That was delicious. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and look at JW, he's just taken all of the attention oh, away. Oh, no scope, not connecting in a second one, Will! What is going on? This is a Fnatic round. It's just got Fnatic written all over it. If they can't finish this, that's going to be upsetting. Flusher comes in with a kill there on Shush, but it's two on two. And Hooksy's walked up right behind. He's actually going to announce that he is, well, they both are, I guess, with a bit of a flashbang there. That is, yeah, that just let Crims knows what's coming, and he's going to take them both down. I am. What was that? In Why? strong disagreement. Hooksy's having a rough time this game, but yeah, yeah, I'm really wondering about that flash. All the element of surprise gone. What? A, can we get that again, please? Golden's entry. That was just so clean. Oh man! Just do it again. Just, just do it again. Yeah. 
dude. <laughs> yeah, there you go, J Dubs. Oh man, that was just a work of art. What a play from Golden. So sick. Yeah, that was absolutely incredible. 26th round now. Double AWP. Still got some M4s in the FAMAS here, but absolute last chance for Mad Lions. Now, not fighting to try and win the map, but to try and get it into overtime. And that always is mentally slightly different. Fnatic, though, I mean... The way to overtime right now for Mad Lions is, is just going to be through Fnatic's economy, never really getting up and running, right? Yeah. Prayer as well, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, probably a good thing. This is, uh, well, Fnatic have elected to slow it down again, but they've got the firepower advantage. Although, as I say that, they do have a double op here on Mad Lions, and, well, there's Acor getting caught, not able to pull it off. Brolan getting taken out by Roy. We do have... Krim's trying to create some space. Oh, JW just a second too late, although that is going to be Golden trying to take point. Angle clever here from Refresh. Not going to be easily spotted. And Mad Lions, man, if they win this round... It's... The Molotov wasn't spreading on a Refresh. It looked like he was almost sat on top of it, but um, I guess not. Yeah, 38 seconds. This should be really readable right now for the CT side to sort of know what's coming. Not that they all have to show up and stand on top of each other, but yeah, they're getting closer and closer. I think they're flanking as well from... Uh, the lower part of the map, so we'll see how that's going to be working out. 24 seconds, grenade, that's going to help out a little bit. Crim's coming in from the one side, JW all the way back here. He's got the right idea, but Hooksy showing up with a bit of a double kill, and that will cancel out any chance here. Again, even saving it, oh, it might be possible, all right. Nine seconds, okay, we get another one for JW. He is low on time and health, so yeah, he's going to have to back it out, but if they'd kept coming for him, who knows? Now he's hiding essentially out in the open, right underneath them. Oh, and they spot him again after the time has run out. I like that idea. This is getting out of hand, Andrews. Just a bit. Brolan is going to just be so frustrated, I think, after that uh, failed entry. He could have had two of them dead. Could have done exactly what Golden did. Yeah. And just fluffed both of them. And that really wrecks the round. That wrecks the round for Fnatic. So we will get that tech timeout getting called here by Mad Lions. A little bit of room to, to discuss. And actually, I mean, it kind of works perfectly. You know, it gives Mad Lions a little bit of room to discuss, to feel good. Fnatic just gets to stew in their juices right now. They get to feel frustrated with the fact that uh, they've they've yeah. had a couple of opportunities here to end it, and they've, they've missed out. So money is not fantastic for Fnatic, so the beating is going to continue. They're going to keep getting kicked in the teeth, at least for another round. You got to do what, like Deagle, Kevlar, couple of nades here if you're Fnatic, and then just put it all in the next round to finish this first map. Hmm. Yeah, I mean they have another four chances to do it. Well, so, I mean this is a throwaway round, right, Andrew? So what do you do? Do you just go for like Deagle quick and go straight into ramp and again try and abuse that? I guess. Well, I mean here's the answer. So the answer is no. Fnatic elect not to do that. Yeah, I mean there is it's any kind of play like this, no matter what it is, right? It's always going to be based on. Just flipping a coin, and, and this time it was grenades. See if that works. It didn't, so... You could still do something with the Deagle on Golden. I mean, we, again, one one quick shot there could make a bit of a difference. Shush. Definitely spotting that out, but... The rest of them are in middle, it seems, and, and hanging out, hoping for a, for a snipe on somebody. This is a cool idea. Boosting up on the rebars to, uh, to look over the box. I actually quite like that. Well, they eventually do get the better of Brolan. Uh, yeah, <laughs> run boost across. Nice shot there by Acor. He knew he had it. I was going to say, I wonder how close that actually was. It looked real close to me. Uh, this is going to be a, an excellent anti-ego round here for Mad Lions. Uh, yep, impossible. So everything covered and, yeah, just textbook stuff. Very clean coming in here from Mad Lions, not getting ahead of themselves, not giving anything fun over to Fnatic. 15 to 12 now for Fnatic. Map point still in their favor. And now, well, yeah, JW, uh, hmm, they're going to have to give him the AWP there, but it's a teammate who has to do it. It looks like they had just enough, just enough money. Yeah, they picked that up. 15 to 12. Another three rounds to go for Mad Lions to get into overtime. And if not, Fnatic will walk away with a nice win here on the first map. But again, I think that'll set them up real nice in this best of three. See? A little bit of a boost over. Crims with the creak. 
Not so much that we see that nowadays. It had its glory uh, moment, but uh, then it sort of disappeared again. Mm -hmm. And he's almost going to be able to see us. Not that far off. Some kind of nades coming out. Not going to do anything at all there. So, yeah. Early exchanges. No one in B early on once again here for the Danish side. They've done this before, but they just sort of leave it alone for the, in, in the beginning. And then eventually start to, to go back if they need to. Golden. He has been... Amazing at the entries. If you get even one kill in the middle, that should set them up real nice, but it's risky. Yeah, he has no way of knowing. And again, angles. That's just, you You, you slow walk into that, shush it that for an offer. It's just the easiest shot of their lives. And now, well, man advantage, four mad lines. And this is JW. He's got it, but again, <laughs> it's crazy. Just keeps finding him. Just perfectly done here. Shush now going to be the one to open this up. And he has got two kills at the beginning of this key round. There's wow. a third one taking down Flusha. And Fnatic are just hesitating at the end here, Anders. They yeah. look so good. Let's see. I mean, it is it is a little bit scary now, isn't it, for them? Because who knows what happens in overtime. And that's just Shush now working on an ace he's already got the first four of them he does see it <laughs> there it is an ace for shush and remember <laughs> listen before this round he had 12 kills now he's up to 17 he was the worst performing player in the server before this round so that is a bit of a nice turnaround just him personally like yes finally something's working listen incredibly uh i agree with well you done. anders but at that point crim should just throw himself on the side instead of giving him the ace out of spite. Yeah. That actually, you I... You should I, just literally, you have, you, you can just yeet yourself off the side there. I approve. And deny deny this guy the feel-good moment of having an ace. But that ace will be inc will very quickly forgotten if they can't win the next two rounds here, Mad Lions. As fun as it is, I don't think it will matter. Roy had the other ace, right, in against the Eco, so... Two aces so far in Mad Lions. That's un unusual for a, for a, you know, one map. Yeah, Roland comes charging in. Hooksy, that's a good cleanup. He's going to try and continue almost getting the third. He's got the Deagle out, and he's not quite hitting the shots here, but, I mean, he might have created enough of a delay. He's hunting down JW, but he hasn't reloaded yet. Now he's in trouble. JW is going to come back and get him, and a little bit of a shock here. Acorn nearly getting caught jumping up. It's going to be a two-on-three, and Mad Lions really need to take a deep breath. With the smoke down. They've recovered a smoke, though, on JW. They have options here. It's still so early in the round with a minute left. Wow. No need to rush. It's going to be the peak, the double, and they're getting caught. Golden, it looked like he got caught on something. Just stuck in the middle of nowhere there on the edge of the smoke, and that ends up costing him. So Fnatic, what looked very promising, just got ruined by Hooksy there. Yeah, but I'm not going to lie. That was... That was seconds away from spiraling out. This could have been a Fnatic round. Yeah, Does absolutely. Every, if, if Hooksy just gets traded one for one... They're on the bomb side, and and Echo is like with that orb. I mean, he's gonna keep taking the fight, but that is that's a bit close. That's a bit close. 15-14, 30th round coming up. First map here, going the entire distance. I really like it. Listen, the odds were dead even, so we're getting we're getting what we would want here. Speak for yourself, Mad Lions, but. I put my points on Fnatic. This is getting a bit out of hand. Listen, you can still have this round similar. I just wanted to be close. It's fine. We can make that arrangement if you want. You can have... They'll win this round. Don't worry about it. Uh, I wouldn't be scared. I mean, if it goes to overtime, it'll be fun. It'll be real fun. But, I mean, if Mad Lions win this map, man, then I think we're pretty much guaranteed three maps. It c yeah, it could well be. Um... And that gets, I mean, that's just going to turn into the grind between these two teams. Because clearly they're so evenly matched. This yeah. is all Fnatic, though. I mean, this is just a Fnatic mental game where they kind of just started slacking off a little bit. Well, that well, that's one. But also their economy finally broke, right? That is definitely also the other part of the story, which is that, you know, eventually they just ran out of money. Sure. But, I mean, first round there were plenty of opportunities for Fnatic. They could have been a bit more of a one-sided scoreline. And then in the second half here... Oh, this is very nice. Pull out with the flash entry. Hooksy is out of the picture. Two players still here for uh, the A defense, though, on Mad Lions. But Fnatic, because they get that kill so early in the round, gives them options. That must have been just a, you know, individual sort of instinctive play from Hooksy saying, you know, uh, let me try. Refresh going down. JW made his way around that corner, so 
Now they're in a whole lot of trouble here. Acor missing a chance, and that could have got him killed right away. I love this from Golden again, being the aggressor and pushing them back into it here. Roy, can't really see much, and that's just, you know, hoping for the chance spray. Looks like the bomb will be going down, and things are looking really good right now for the Swedes to be able to pick up this map. It's a shot on Acor to bring him down. Shush and Roy are left, but what are they meant to do here? Two versus five. This one was just very slow and methodical for the Swedish side. Roy gets a kill, but I still don't think it's going to be anywhere near enough. So you mean some wall bangs coming out here towards the end of it. They have a smoke on Roy, so maybe they could smoke the bomb, but once again, how are you going to sit inside and try and defuse for the full five seconds? It's just never going to happen. Roy out in the open. He's down, and Shush is surely going to follow. I can't see him doing this really ever. 16 to 14, and Fnatic take the map. And yes, like you said, this was a, that was actually very reminiscent of old Fnatic, right? The hive mind just working together as a unit all up onto the site and then post plant, nobody peeking, nobody doing anything crazy. They're all just playing together. One guy peeks, draws the fire. The other guy gets in for the flank, gets the kill. Just textbook stuff coming up from Fnatic in that last round of the half and the last round of the map. So we get a 30 rounder, Anders. Yeah, absolutely great. Uh, I mean, a very, very close game. Uh, Again, you think about how this played out, Mad Alliance could have just as well won this map. So that's looking good for second map Inferno that's coming up after the break. Stay tuned.